Hello, my name is Rahul Gavai and today we will see how to create dashboard using the SRI operational dashboard uh, with the COVID-19 data. So on the web, we have found the multiple sources for database. So uh, you can uh, download the, the data from authentic uh, any uh, data source from any website and it should be government site or any organization site you can download data so i found some uh, site uh, for italy health department minister of health so i will download data from here and uh, here there are uh, options to download the data in the form of pdf so this is COVID-19 cases in Italy at 6 p.m. on March 25th. So I will going to download this file and uh, here the tables we can download in the form of the uh, PDF. So you can download the, this PDF and after that we can convert that PDF into Excel file or CSV file using online tools. Uh, so I will copy this data and uh, paste into my CSV file. And here you can see the headers also, but headers in Italian language. So you can uh, convert into uh, English. If you know the Italian, then it is good. Otherwise, you can use the Google Translate to translate the Italian to English okay so uh, so I have uh, this data in the form of PDF but I have uh, copied all the reason why data into my Excel so this is Excel this is the reason why all so there are 21 reason in Italy so I have uh, pasted data here which is I extracted from uh, that PDF file and this is my uh, CSV file name so I am using this CSV file for my further mapping and uh, dashboard so now I will I will open ArcMap or it is called as Arc Desktop. So already I have a uh, Italy region wise save file so I'll use for this save file and that uh, PDF extracted data in the form of CSV I will join the data then I will use the join data tool here we can browse the browse the, the CSV file which is we have uh, extracted data from PDF so I can Close from here. Then add. Then uh, we have to choose the same similar field in both CSV as well as uh, in save file. So I use the for joining data. Now we can see we have already joined the data from CSV file to uh, save file. So this save file further we can use for any analysis purpose offline mapping or online mapping we can also use this uh, save file just we have to need to be every day download the data from that website and we have to join the data here and put uh, on, uh, on the uh, RBS online account so this is my save file so I will zip uh, I will convert into zip file and because the zip file is supported to RGS online for the vector data or save file. So this save file I will open in Arc RGS online. So just you uh, type here rgs.com or RGS online. Then they will ask you password and your username if you don't have password and username you have to create or you have to sign up but I have password and username so I will sign in 
and up to the sign in you have to uh, log in with your password and, and your uh, username and it should be a uh, it need for uh, like organization account for your dashboard because without organizational account you cannot create the dashboard for the mapping it it will be uh, good but for the dashboard it need it it should be need uh, the organization account so i, I have uh, this account so i will uh, create the dashboard using this so I, this is my site gat4.maps.rgs.com and then we click click on the content so this is my content okay so i want to add my save file he file here so click on add items choose the your zip file location or your save file location from here and uh, it will be my location is here so i will add the save file and you have to give the name for your uh, save file already i have given the name and uh, you have to add some tags for your files or your data click on add item so it will be add in your content so to that we have to make the map from this uh, save file Before that, we can see the data here, and uh, the, we have converted our save file into feature layer hosted in uh, our organ organizational account. You can see the data from here. So, same data in your CSV file, and it will be uh, we have converted into save file. So from here we can we can update the data every day if you want and uh, here we have to choose only that uh, save file uh, in zip folder and we can update from here we can now uh, join uh, data every day and we can, if you want to update data data then you can update data from here and for now uh, now we are creating a map from that uh, same save file so i'll click on map tag then it will be open the rgs rgs online map portal and here you can add your file and because we my file is in search for layer so you can using the layer i can add my file so this is my covid 19 italy data set so i will add this data into my map so after adding the data it will be display as as a save file or this is feature layer so i will uh, create some cartographic map and uh, it will be display on a nice way now I will click on change view and uh, here you can change the view according to you uh, so I will choose the attribute for you for the changing the view from here so I will choose the total cases and it will show me the uh, the nice graph or nice uh, map so we call it as it is a cluster map or you can call it as clustering and you can change the color for your uh, can change also the uh, trans trans 
see for your symbology and if you want to classify data then you can classify your data also so these are the we have changed the style for our uh, map now if you want to uh, see the uh, some like uh, you have to copy the same data or same layer into uh, another because we have to create another map like corrupt plate map so we can create that one also for that we need to copy this uh, file and then <coughs> from here we can copy the file now we, we, have, we will create the uh, corrupt plate map so same as change the view from here you can choose the attribute now from you can select the this for a pet map style now you can see the young map there are the type uh, like for a pet map the range from uh, the smallest to high and or as to small so you can choose from here you can also change the color ramp for your data set using the color ramp and also you can classify the data so you can classify data from here and uh, so now i will not choose the classify data i will choose the, this one uh, for simple one and click on ok Uh, now your data set is okay for the, the further mapping but before that we have to uh, we have to own the label for your uh, uh, region or province so we will add the label also and uh, we will change the label so click on the create a label sorry here you can choose the uh, uh, name for your reason attribute so these are the we are creating the labels for uh, for for a clip map you can also change the uh, the visibility for your data and for labels So now uh, we have two maps in one map. One is corrupted map, and one is as it is a cluster map. So there to the uh, dot map should be upside and uh, and corrupted map on the basis base. So this is all that we have to consider is the mapping for the COVID-19 uh, this is a daily cases now we, we can save we, uh, this map we can uh, then write the name for your map uh, like uh, Italy COVID-19 something like that and also we can put the tags also and we can add description and then we can add description then click on save or here we can change the uh, your folder also okay now click on save now uh, your data ready for the creating a dashboard Okay, now before that we have to save the data then we can save the data with the uh, your organization or everyone okay so for that we can save the data for everyone and uh, you can this is updating for sharing your data okay so now 
is already a data for your other uh, process we because we have to create the dashboard for next then we can use the same same maps uh, in the dashboard okay so uh, i will create a next video on that and we can see the how to create a dashboard in next video okay uh, thank you very much